بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Well, let's try to see the solution. Like we have discussed, the DSCP spoofing attack, where the attacker is going to introduce some kind of fake DSCP server, where he can provide the wrong information or maybe a wrong gateway, which can lead to man in the middle attack. Already we discussed this part uh, in the previous section. So here we'll try to see what is the solution. Again, the solution is DSCP snooping a defense mechanism. Uh, what is exactly DSCP snooping. It's a feature which will, it's a kind of a layer two security feature which we enable on the switches and where we are going to configure the ports in two categories, trusted and not trusted. So let's try to understand that part first. So in the DSCP snooping, what we'll do is we'll uh, simply configure the ports in two categories. The first one is a trusted ports and the second one is untrusted ports so trusted and untrusted now what's the meaning of trusted first we need to understand the trusted ports are the ports which connects to the dscp server or the trunk links okay whereas untrusted ports are not connected to the it's it's like opposite like if you take an example we have a switches connected to something like this okay now assume that these are all the switches and we have the DSCP server somewhere here, okay? And we also have some clients. The blue ones are the clients, uh, the users connecting to, uh, connecting to the end devices. So most likely the attacker who is sitting here will be able to introduce the DSCP server on the end devices. So what we have to do is we have to simply enable the DSCP snooping feature. So there's a simple a single line command we have to do there is a command called ip dscp snooping and then we have to say ip dscp snooping vlan vlan number whichever the vlan so okay assume there is a vlan 10. now we have to do this on all the switches that's what we'll will be seeing so which means now whenever you enable the dscp snooping with that particular command now what happens is it will automatically make each and every port as untrusted so automatically all the ports will be untrusted. Now, what is untrusted port? Let's try to first understand a little bit more on trusted and untrusted ports. Now we know the DSCP goes with a DORA process offer. You know, there is a process called DSCP. It goes with something called a DORA process. Like we have seen that. So normally if there's a DSCP server, the DSCP server is going to send out an offer message saying that Okay, I'm the one who is going to provide you the DSCP offer. So which means what I'm going to tell is the offer messages should only be coming from the trusted ports, which means I'm going to enable this particular port. This port has to be trusted. I'll just say as trusted T, just I'll mark it as a tree. So which means if there is a DSCP offer message is coming on this particular port, I'm going to tell my switch, hello switch, you can just simply listen to these DSCP messages. And if you receive any DSCP offer message, okay, so allow it on this particular port. And most likely there is also possibility that, you know, this port also should be trusted, the green ones, this port also should be trusted trusted you know all these ports connecting to the trunk links has to be trusted and the reason because you may have a client who is requesting an ip address so the ip address request will come through these trunk links okay so uh, typically the trusted ports are nothing but which can send the dscp offer message and uh, most likely the ports which are facing towards the dscp the real dscp server and most likely the ports which are connecting to the switch to switch trunk links or to be categorized as a trusted ports and remaining all the ports remaining all the ports has to be untrusted untrusted means the ports which are connecting to the end devices typically we call them as end devices routers you know uh, typically end devices where the users are sitting so what he will do is he the user will remove the computer and 
may connect a Wi-Fi uh, router or a fake DSCP server. So mostly the interface is facing towards them as untrusted, which means all the ports remaining all will be untrusted. Okay, remaining all. So it's not possible for you to write down each and every port as trusted, untrusted. So that's the reason whenever you enable, let's say in my switch, we have, let's say this is a switch. Now in this switch, there are around 48 ports. Okay. So I don't need to tell all the 48 ports as trusted or untrusted. So whenever you enable the DSGP snooping, automatically all the ports, all the 48 ports will become automatically untrusted, which means each and every port will be automatically categorized as untrusted. So switch will automatically keep every port as untrusted. So what I have to do is I have to go to the interface, which is facing towards the switch. Let's say port number 24, port number 23. I have to go and say interface range, uh, port number 23 and 24. I had to go to the switch and I had to say IP DSCP snooping trust there is a command again i'm just writing for the rough we have to tell so which means typically the ports which are facing towards the dscp server and the ports which are facing towards the trunks will be less in number so we have to enable dscp snooping trust command where i'm going to tell these ports are the ports which can send off our messages so if if, a, if an attacker let's say if now let's take the now the example Let's say there is an attacker sitting somewhere here. He's trying to send out an offer message. And the offer message is received on untrusted port, which is untrusted. So immediately the switch is going to discard this message. So it's not be processed. We can even add a violation rules as well. Okay. So what we are trying to do here is whenever you enable the DSCP snooping, automatically all the ports will be untrusted. So which means in this example, once you enable this, automatically all the ports will be untrusted. And whichever the ports facing towards the DSCP server and whichever the ports facing towards the trunk links, which will, because normally DSCP servers can be on a different switches. So trunk links will send those replies. So if there is a DSCP reply or the offer coming on trusted ports, the switch will process. But if the DSCP reply is coming on any untrusted ports, it's going to simply discard that okay so we have to tell this port is a trusted port and that's what we have to enable okay so it's a very simple uh, feature but again a very important feature as well because it's a very simple attack anyone can introduce anyone can simply bring a wireless router you know the home home wi-fi routers and you can simply introduce a dhcp spoofing attack it's a very simple uh, thing or you can use some advanced uh, uh, tools as well so at the end, you may see the DSCP snooping feature might be enabled on the switches at the layer two, uh, which is going to ensure that uh, any of the ports facing towards the end devices are not trusted and it's not going to process them. And again, as uh, you make any changes in the topology, you need to consider changing the trusted and untrusted ports as well, because whenever you see the configurations, with DSCP snooping trust commands are enabled, then you also need to make adjustments as per the topology changes in the future.